Good day everyone! Today let's talk about coding as a scientific writing. Let us first define what's coding. Coding is exactly borrowing other's idea and putting it in your own work using quotation marks. Now, there are two types of quotation. The two types of quotation are direct quotation and block quotation. And this is what we will discuss right now. Let us first discuss direct quotation. When we say direct quotation, it is using the exact words from a source. And when using it, the exact words are enclosed in quotation marks and the page number is added to the index citation. This is an example of direct quotation. The author is Alicante and it is published in 2022. I stated, then comma, technology-based learning is the most effective learning pedagogy. Which are the exact words taken from Alicante? It's the technology-based learning is the most effective learning pedagogy. Why did we say so? Because it, these words are enclosed in a quotation mark. And another one is that the page number is added to the in-text citation, P period 8, close and open parenthesis. Then period is after the end of the page number. Now, let us discuss block quotation. When we say block quotation, which is also known as long quotation, is a quotation that contains more than 40 words. What makes it long? Because the it's no longer it's not only a sentence, but maybe you want to copy in your own work the whole paragraph because the whole paragraph makes its sense. And you can do that, you can copy that exactly as long as you will make use of block quotation. So how to do it? First rule is place a column at the end of the line that you write to introduce your long quotation, like this. This is an example of a long quotation, and which is our introductory line here. It is the La Crusade Alley 2022 stated. That is our introductory line. And at the end, you can see a colon. And that is what rule number one says. Second rule, indent the long quotation 0.5 inches or 5 spaces from the rest of the text so it looks like a block of text, like this. Our long quotation here is teachers sometimes use learning pedagogies, okay, the whole paragraph of that, that is our long quotation. And it is indented, okay, five spaces. So starting from this letter D, let's count one, two, three, four, five. So teacher's letter T starts at the five spaces. That is what rule number two means. Third rule, do not put quotation marks around the quotation like this. Take a look at our quotation. There is no quotation mark involved. This makes it different with the direct quotation, wherein the exact words are enclosed with quotation marks. Number four rule is you have to place the period at the end of the quotation before your in-text citation instead of after, as with regular quotations, like this. In our quotation, where is the period as stated in rule number four? It's here, after the word effective. And it is before our in-text citation, which is close and open parenthesis P period 10, meaning page 10. So our long quotation is taken from the page 10 of our reference, of our source, De La Cruz and Ali. Number five rule, quotation should be written in single space, like this. Sixth 
rule is that there must be a space in between the introductory statement and the quotation like this. Now, there are two ways where we can do block quotation. First is author at beginning, like this. De La Personale 2022 stated, so it is at the beginning of our quotation. This is an example of block quotation, wherein the author is at the end. De La Cruz and Ali, okay, these are our authors. And take note that we use the ampersand, and. So, it's no longer the word and A and D. Why? Because this is already an example of parenthetical citation. Now, I want you to take a look at our in-text citation. So, this time, we use the symbol PP, which means pages. Because there are two pages here, page 10 to 11. But if you got your quotation in only one page, then just use the symbol P, which means page. Now, in some instances where you cannot see the page number, just count manually the paragraph number where you got your quotation. So, use para, period, then the paragraph number, like this. This time, let's apply what you learned by doing this activity. So, make three quotations from your related literature or related studies. And I want to see one direct quotation, one block quotation author at the beginning, and one block quotation author at the end. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. For more information, you may visit the reference listed on our screen. And, of course, credits are given to the following listed on the screen. Have a great day!